Hey guys, welcome back to another Fallout 4 video. I know you guys are probably thinking that I do a one and done with these type of videos, but nah, Fallout 4 is here to stay. And today I got some of the newest mods that considering Fallout 4's current modding scene has been kind of taking over. But keep in mind these are new, so bugs may vary. But without further ado, let's dive right in. Well, one quick pause, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe. But now let's dive in. The first mod up today is a new clothing and armor mod called Modern Military Pack by Fafni B. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly, I feel like that's completely wrong. But this is also surprising for me, I covered a few of their mods for Skyrim, but I didn't realize Fallout 4 is their main modding place, I just kind of figured it was Skyrim, but I guess not. This mod adds a modern military set of clothing for male and female, and of course I had to get the 4k version even though 2k is available, because I mean someone has to do it. Someone without a 4090, I mean. But based on the description, it is an extension of the PMC Operators Pack, which is also about to get a rework, which is something I'm kind of excited for. This set comes in so many different colors, and all are handmade. To get this set, though, all you usually have to do is craft it at a chem station. And it can also be upgraded the normal way also. This set isn't too modular, but you can definitely get your fill of customization. It isn't just one set, you can change it to be how you want it to be. And by that I mean different backpacks, back panels if you don't know what that is, now you kinda do. Also different loadouts for the vest to match the current weapon you're using. This is definitely something I can see most of you using since you prefer kinda like a tactical fallout. And by tactical fallout I mean a modern destroy world with zombies. This is pretty much perfect for that. Which is something I used to do in my mod list but now I prefer a more fallout 3 and new vegas look. But I mean I'm definitely going to be wearing this at least a few times in my playthrough. Just because. But just for the sake of your PC, I do recommend to use the 2K version instead. But to each their own. The next mod up that will bring your survival experience in Fallout 4 if you have one to a new level is a mod that might actually make it just a little bit easier. This mod is called Survivalist Bus by PRA. I was gonna say PRA but I feel like that's an acronym but either way. This is in essence a player home made just for playing on survival mode. You can originally find this bus in Lexington at the regular bus stop without doing anything to it and this is already a reliable player home that you can sleep and eat in for your protection. But the main focus of this mod is its mobility because it's a mobile player home. No it doesn't move like the bus in Black Ops Zombie nor does it fight off zombies but instead you power the bus up with fusion cores then you can pretty much travel to each known location. Unknown locations won't originally be on the console. But if you're lazy, you can just have the bus unlock all locations for you, which is up to 50. I've only shown a few, but as you can see, this bus will take you to some dangerous location. So you might want to actually clear them out first, or if you're playing on survival and you run out of power at that dangerous location, you might be stuck, end up stranded, or end up having to abandon your home until you find more fusion cores. Because yes, each time you travel, you will use up charges of that fusion core. Or you can just turn that off if you feel like cheating, but I just had mine set to one charge because each fusion car has about 10 charges for this bus, so that's 10 places I can travel. Or you can have it set to only use about 50% of the charges, and then 75%, but I feel like one charge is pretty much balanced. But this arm does have so many other features, like you're able to actually travel to more than 50 locations, that's just the most basic. But you can also travel to every single settlement, as long as you actually build a bus there because it does have a new workbench. So pretty much this bus is perfect for the people that play on survival where fast travel is disabled. You just have to wait at a bus stop that you can also build in your settlements and that will pretty much summon the bus. And pretty much let you have a place to sleep. So pretty much using this bus, your options are use that fusion core to be able to fast travel for free and have a free place to sleep. Or use a power armor. I think the correct option is pretty clear here. The next mod up is a new weapon that you'll be needing just to mow down those multiple enemies that you decide to add to your game and make it extremely hard for no reason. And to get it, all you have to do is go to the Gunner Plaza. Well, at least for the rare variant. This mod is called Assault LMG by Brainstorm Epilogue. This mod is a very customizable LMG that you can pretty much kill anything with. It comes with over 200 bullets for you to just go wild with. Like I mentioned before though, the one I'm using is the rare variant that you get from the Gunner Plaza but you can also find normal variants on raiders. There's a chance that they appear with this weapon in their inventory instead of a regular assault rifle, in which case you might want to run instead. There's two versions to this mod though. You can either have it at a 50% chance to appear in the raiders inventory. That's based on the mod description. I didn't actually check X edit to make sure, but you can also choose the second option, which will completely replace the vanilla assault rifle. 
but I'd probably go with the main option just to nerf yourself, just so you don't get this too fast. Alrighty, next up, this mod is more of an immersion mod. This mod is called Infiltrator Lockpicking Overhaul by BP42S. Because with this mod, you can do more than just finally lockpicking a lock. In vanilla, all you can do is try and lockpick it, then you probably give up when you break all your bobby pins and then you can't really do anything else. But with this mod, you can actually bash the lock. You can shoot the lock also. Or you could do something like you used to be able to do and force the lock open, which is a call out to Fallout 3 and New Vegas which I unfortunately haven't had the chance to play yet. But to be able to access these options, you do still need perks. Like to force open, you need the locksmith perk. To bash, you need the basher perk. And to shoot, you need the penetrator perk. And yes, you can also fail these options also. They're not a surefire way to open locks. Otherwise, this wouldn't be immersive and it wouldn't make survival fun. This mod, as you can see, does feature custom animations as well as failing mechanics that will also make it a little risky to do other options besides picking it. So it will jam the lock entirely if you do fail, but that doesn't mean you won't be able to access it afterwards. You'll just have to do it the vanilla way, with the bobby pin, if you didn't already waste them all. The next mod up is called Wastelanders Unique NPCs by Zoe KL. This mod introduces 10 boss level NPCs spread across the world of Fallout 4. It's pretty much up to you to find each one because they are in separate locations. Unless you look at the mod description, the spoiler section, then you can pretty much find each location. But each one will have their own unique assets, so each will look different from the next one. There is hints that things placed around them might link them together somehow, but I haven't figured it out yet. Also, a warning, things can get pretty graphic with this mod. It was given a warning in the description and I checked it out myself. But you kind of play Fallout 4, so you're probably used to that. But as I mentioned, each of these NPCs are boss level, so you might want to come a little prepared if you want to get their legendary equipment. And honestly, I was surprised while discovering these NPCs. I never expected this level of diversity. I was kind of just expecting different armor and clothing. But that's far from the truth. It's different types of NPCs like Death Claws. So if you do end up trying this, let me know what you thought about it. You know how I mentioned earlier in the video, either the bus or power armor? Well, this is what I mean. This mod is a new power armor added to the Boston airport. This mod is called Midwest Power Armor by Newer Mind. It, as you can see, doesn't add one power armor, but instead it adds two power armors. Be careful of the second power armor though, just as a disclaimer from me, because most of the fusion core was already used up and I ended up dying to a death claw because of it. But the one in the shrouded in the darkness is fully charged, so pick carefully. Each power armor is easy to use, you don't really need any special requirements like strength or perception, you just jump straight in. And then you just pretty much have fun shooting everything. Of course my favorite one is the one with the skull, but I feel like that's obvious. But both are just completely cosmetically different. Nothing major that would make you pick over the other one. Stat wise, they're pretty much equal, so whichever one you want to go with is just whichever one you go with. But that was it for today guys, I definitely could have made this longer, let me know if you guys actually want me to make it longer. But otherwise, as of right now, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you happen to enjoy just a little bit of this video. Especially if you want to enjoy more mod showcases in the future, but as of right now, hope you all have a great rest of your day. Peace and love guys.